Haydan. Three, oh three. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I will heal. You will heal. You will heal fine. Oh my god, I've got to tell the doctor. Hello, yes? Dr. Scott? Yes, speaking. Dr. Scott, you must come at once, quickly, please. Who is it speaking? Klausner here, and you remember what I told you last night about my experience with sound and how I hoped I might... Yes, yes, but what's the matter? Are you ill? No, I'm not ill, but... It's half past six in the morning and you call me, but you're not ill. Please come. Come quickly. I want someone to hear it. It's driving me mad. I can't believe it. You really want me to get out of bed and come over now? Yes. Now. At once. Please. Alright then. I'll come. What was the shriek of a tree like? Uh, uh, I can't remember. I don't want to remember. It, it was so horrible, so loud and frightful. Oh God, what sort of noise would a person make if his legs were planted into the ground and someone deliberately swung a small sharp thing at his legs so that the blade cut in deep and wedged itself into the gut? Same sort of noise as a tree, perhaps? No, please don't. No. Ah! 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 No, quite different. The noise of a tree was worse than any known human noise because of that frightening, toneless, Truthless quality! Oh. Mm, I can't even think it. What about a feel of wheat with a mower going through it, cutting the stems? 500 stems a second, every second! Oh my god! What would that noise be like? 500 wheat plants screaming together, and every second, another 500 being cut and screaming, and, and no! Go to the wheat field with my machine. I will not eat bread after that. But but what about potatoes, cabbages, and carrots and onions? And what about apples? Oh no, apples are all right. They they fall off naturally when when they are ripe. But not vegetables. Ah, someone is opening my front gate. It must be Doctor Scott.
Well, well, what's all that trouble? Come with me, doctor. I want you to hear it. I called you because you're the only one after all. It's over the road in the park. Will you come now? Why did you bring it out here? I wanted a tree. There aren't any big trees in the garden. And why the axe? You'll see in a moment. But now, please, put on these earphones and listen carefully and tell me precisely afterwards what you hear. I want to make quite sure. Can you hear anything? Can I what? Can you hear anything? Just the humming noise. What are you waiting for? Nothing. Uh, wow! The drone is alive! The fearless are moving beneath me! Watch out! Run man! Okay, run! Great heavens, man. That was a near one. I thought it had got you. Did you hear it? Hear what? In the earphones. Did you hear anything when the axe struck? Well, as a matter of fact... No, I don't know. I couldn't be sure. I don't suppose I had the earphones on for more than a second after the extra. Yes, but, but what did you hear? I don't know. I don't know what I heard. Probably the noise of the branch breaking. What did it sound like? Exactly what did it sound like? Oh, hell! I really don't know. I was more interested in getting out of the way. Let's leave it. Dr. Scott, what did it sound like? For God's sake! What with half the tree falling on me and having to run for my life? Well, we better get back. Look, look. You stitch this up. You stitch this up quickly. Don't be silly. I can't stitch through wood. You do as I say. Stitch it up now. Don't be silly. I can't stitch through wood. Come on, let's get back. So you can't stitch through wood? No, of course not. Have you got any iodine in your bag? What if I have? Then paint the cut with iodine. It'll sting, but that can't be helped. Now look, let's not be ridiculous. Let's get back to the house and then... Paint the cut with iodine! Well, all right. I'll paint it with iodine. I'll go and get my back. Make sure you get right in. Oh, yes. Now do the other one, the one just above it.
there you are. It's done. That should do nicely. Yes. That should do nicely. Will you come and have a look at them again tomorrow? Oh yes, of course. And put some more iodine? If necessary, yes. Come on, we need to go now. Thank you, Doctor. and Dr. Scott are leaving the park and they are on their way home. So, have you made up your mind about Klaus now? Madman or genius? You know, there's a moral behind every story and it holds true for this story as well. Perhaps there is more than one moral value here. What do you think it is? To me, I think this story teaches us not to judge others, but to accept them for what they are. I also feel there's a theme behind it. It's perseverance. If you want to do something, you have to try, try and try again. The Russians have a saying, let hope be the last to die. And in Klausner's case, he never gave up hope that he would succeed in listening to the sounds that are denied to the human ear. So, having said that, do you think Klausner will build another machine? Just one more question before we end. Do you think Dr. Scott really believed in Klausner? Or was he just trying to be nice and not hurt Klausner's feelings? So... That was the sound machine for you. I hope you had a great time watching it. Bye-bye.